Well, welcome everybody. Today happens to be a beautiful morning. It's about 9 o'clock a.m. and we do have clouds and a little bit of sun. It's only 65 degrees, so right now it's perfect for working out here. Roy, he had to go shopping and go to church today, which, no, it's not Sunday, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try to tar paper this by myself and there's a chance I might come over here to the side of the garage and maybe change the windows before I put tar paper on there and who knows when Roy's gonna get here he'll bust in anytime it's hard telling but first I wanted to show I got another tripod here for my GoPro it cranks up and down I strapped my battery on here because for a GoPro, if you're going to do more than what the battery can hold, you pull the battery out. And this here is my battery now, and it'll last for hours. But this here, I bought at the Goodwill. I think they wanted regularly $6.99. It does have a level on there so you can level your camera up. You can pop the camera off. Uh, and it extends up. Does a bunch of things. But like I say, they want $6.99 for it. I got it half price. So $3.50. It's a nice heavy and when I say heavy, I'm not talking it's terrible to drag around. I'm talking about normally the wind shouldn't knock it over. So the, this is my new one for my GoPro. Anyway, let's get her done. Oh no. Let's get at her. Before really starting the project, it's always good to clean up out before you start so you don't trip over things. And of course, Dad sees me over here working by myself. That's okay. And he lets me know what I need to do, what I should do. Not really. where it hadn't been mowed and things are in the way just make it so it's not at such a tripping hazard and you don't feel the grass grabbing on your legs thinking it's a wild snake or something even though we don't have anything poisonous I fit the window up in there but it's just not quite tall enough so I have to cut back some of the upper part of the trim. And I was telling you, don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Shh, don't tell nobody. I, instead of sawing it, I beat it out of there. window out <laughs> I had to do a few minor adjustments this windows coming out next 
The reason why we're taking them out is they're aluminum frame windows and if he decides to heat the garage as a shop, those are going to start sweating and cause more rot and we're just done with aluminum, done with rot the best we can. So I'll take this one out and hope the other one fits better than that one back there. After I get that done, I can go ahead and tar paper this, wrap it inside the window frame area, and then install the windows. And then I'm done until Roy gets here. So, let's get at her. Yes, this is a Canadian thistle. And who's this on the cell phone? My brother Bob, bugging me about a trailer. What's he need a trailer for? Oh, he don't need it. Brother David needs it. Well, look who's here. Only Roy. Now we're discussing what we want to do about this, uh... We want to vent, be able to vent the attic part of this garage. And so we were going to put a screen in there. And the metal roofing does hang over about a foot and a half with no supports. So I think what we were going to do is uh, build supports and run a 2x6 over there. So if we decide to put a gutter up or whatever, we can do that. Otherwise, uh, this way we don't have to worry about the wind taking it away. So we're going to stuff these 2x4s in far enough. They have the roof angle already cut on the end of them. And I'm going to cut a 2x4 for a measurement tool so it'll be the same all the way across. And Roy is going to go inside and use the air, air nail gun and nail them to the 2x6s that are already in the roof. It's not super hot, but boy, it's still hot, sweating, sitting, standing in the sun. These are the color choices, sneak peek, for what we're going to paint the house. We don't know yet. <laughs> 